The first made in Taiwan bomb disposal robot has hit the streets. The robot can defuse explosive devices via remote control. Officers in the bomb disposal unit at the Criminal Investigation Bureau are using it to make dangerous crime scenes a little safer. The unit has up till now relied on robots imported from the U.S. The bomb disposal robot opens a car door, extends its arm and pulls out the explosive device hidden in the vehicle. Then the bomb is put through an X-ray scanner. Mission complete. The jet black robot moves slowly, its caterpillar tracks adapting to the terrain. The upper arm will rotate to handle objects at any angle. A detective controls the robot with a Wi-Fi connected camera. He cautiously dismantles the explosive, maintaining just the right distance. In bomb disposal work, when handling an explosive, we have a principle called three minimizations. Number one, minimize the number of officers present. Number two, minimize the time you're in contact with the device. Number three, minimize the number of contacts. The biggest purpose of the bomb disposal robot is taking our place in getting close to the device, which is dangerous. Usually dealing with an explosive and clearing the site will take between 15 and 20 minutes. Minutes. In the past, Taiwan bought its bomb disposal robots from the US. Now this model is produced right here in Taiwan. The Taiwanese product is larger and better suited to heavy explosives than its American counterpart. And being homemade, it's easier to repair and cheaper. For example, there was a firearms altercation about two or three years ago in a new Taipei night market. The offender dropped a hand grenade. It would have been dangerous for one of our officers to approach it, even in bomb disposal uniform, because there was a firefight going on. So we would always send a robot forward to handle the grenade that was dropped to pick it up and remove it. For the first time, Taiwan has its own bomb disposal robot to rely on. Police hope the bot will help defuse dangerous situations and keep everyone safe and sound.